if, if an investor has a need for the money as a better place for the money than it is pent up at equity in their building, then yeah, this is probably the best time we've ever seen to sell in our career. Hey everyone, this is Dan Blackwell for another episode of This Week in Multifamily Real Estate. Today I'm with one of our agents, Katrina Heine, and we're going to discuss with Katrina what she's hearing within the marketplace, some of the common questions that our investors are asking right now. Katrina, thanks for joining us. If you would, please let everybody know who you are and a little bit about yourself. Sure, Dan. Thanks for having me. As Dan mentioned, I'm one of the sales agents on the team here, uh, the multifamily team in Orange County, and I cover the North Orange County market. So Katrina, you have been talking to the marketplace. You talk to a lot of investors, meet with a lot of investors on a daily basis. You're helping investors make informed decisions with their real estate. You've completed some, you know, terrific 1031 exchanges, helping buyers acquire assets, helping some investors uh, just close out and sell assets. What are owners talking about right now? What are you hearing out there? Sure, Dan, great question. I would say the number one question or concern that is coming up in the market right now has to do with the potential changes to the tax code. Okay, so changes in the tax code, are you talking about concerns that we're seeing with changes in cap gains? And then also there's been some talk about possible changes with the 1031 exchange tax code as well, right? Yes, so um, both of those points are correct. So um, there's a proposal to increase the capital gains tax, eliminate the 1031 exchange and eliminate the stepped up basis. Yeah, that's a lot of changes. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing it myself as well. That's a lot of concerns for people because the 1031 exchange has been a great tool to allow people to build their wealth. And then, you know, certainly nobody likes paying more taxes. So that's a concern. But what is, you know, a lot of investors are kind of making decisions with their real estate. Um, what are some of the changes that you're seeing because of this uncertainty out there? Sure. So I think this has essentially sped up the timeline for a number of investors, um, individuals that were considering making a change at some point down the road. Um, this has just brought that decision a little bit closer. Um, and so we're seeing some investors acting upon that now. So Katrina, you mentioned it's fast forwarding investors to make decisions now that they probably were looking to do 12, 24 or 36 months down the road, mm -hmm. but just with some of the potential uncertainty about um, the tax code, they're making decisions now, they're fast forwarding those. Um, Tell us about what you've seen as far as transactions with our team, you know, who are fast forwarding and completing exchanges? Sure. So uh, this year we've completed 31 transactions as a team to date. 14 of those were 1031 exchanges and of, about, of that group, there's about half that are exchanging back into California. Got it. So we've seen a lot of uptick on investors exchanging out of state. We've helped a number of investors complete those trades. We shot a video on that last week with Andrew Bocather on our team. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned a great point. A lot of investors are doubling down here in California. They're still finding good opportunities as well. Where are some of these investors going? A uh, great question. We are seeing capital come from the LA market into Orange County. We're seeing Orange County investors um, look at exchanging and improving location. So selling an asset in one market and um, you know trading into another um, just to improve location or you know quality of building. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then as far as out of state, there's been so much capital migrating out of state from California into various markets that those markets have gotten really heated and it's just a it's a buyer it's a buyer frenzy so there's just less buildings to buy more buyers out there pricing is getting out of whack there's some markets where the cap rates have gotten so compressed they're as low as they are here in california in the four and a half four and a quarter range where we've heard some investors saying you know what i might as well come back if there's a good asset that comes here in Orange County, I can I can still drive to it, I can still get to it. Um, there's some safety in owning assets here in California. So I more or less see that trend continuing. Yeah. So another thing that I'm hearing on the phones a lot is just interest rates are so low, everybody's wanting to take advantage of historical low rates. The 10 year treasury dipped below 130 today. So rates are ticking down. What are you hearing on your side? You're right, interest rates are driving a lot of activity in the marketplace right now. Um, we're seeing a lot of investors that are looking to refinance. Uh, some are pulling cash out to buy another asset, which is just adding more buyers to the market. 
it seems that a lot of investors that have refied and pulled cash out and they're they're sitting in cash it feels that a lot of them want to get that money to work more than it is typical just because it feels like they want their money in hard assets there's a lot of talk about inflation and i think that's another reason why we've seen some of the assets that we've been marketing that are nice quality buildings for example at 34 units on lincoln 2020 construction you got a lot of folks that have toured that asset that are willing to pay a good price for that real estate just because interest rates are so low right now you can lock in great 10-year fixed financing you can put your money to work Mm -hmm. and that's just a trend that i think is going to continue as rates stay as low as they are right what's another common theme or trend that you're hearing about the current market right now sure so there's a couple interesting trends that we're seeing in the market right now it's a obviously great time to be a seller values are up so the number of investors that we're seeing cashing out has increased um, individuals in that category tend to be, you know, the more long-term owners that have, you know, been in the apartment business for a long time, and they're just retiring and considering moving on. So we're seeing a lot of sellers cash out. Another trend that we're seeing is there's been an uptick in off-market activity. Mm-hmm. So it's not for everyone, but it is something that we we're seeing in the market. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, when we're in the when the market's cycling to where it becomes a white hot seller's market like we're in right now, off market activity ticks up. We are putting together a lot of off market deals. And, you know, like you said, it's not for everybody. Um, there has been sometimes we've heard from an investor, hey, I just sold my property off market. They thought they got a great price. They could act they didn't realize they could have got even more you know, because they don't know quite how fast the market's moving right now. Mm -hmm. So it it just depends. But yeah, off market activity, I think a lot of people that, you know, we talk with, they've got so much equity built up in their property and they realize it's a great market to sell, but what do I do with the money? Where do I put it? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want a 1031 exchange. I've got a good asset. I don't want to go through the hustle and bustle of finding something else and then being a buyer and dealing with all the anxiety of that. So I'm probably not gonna do anything more or less because I just don't know what I would do with the money. Right. So it's if if an investor has a need for the money as a better place for the money than it is pent up at equity in their building, then yeah, this is probably the best time we've ever seen to sell in our career. Katrina, thanks for taking the time. We went over a lot of good information, what you're hearing within the marketplace, Just want to say thanks for for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. So that wraps up this week in multifamily. We will continue to keep putting out these videos on a weekly basis. Feel free to like and subscribe so you get real-time information. And if you want to have a one-on-one conversation with Katrina or myself, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks so much.